I bring parents in at, at different times, I watch their faces and they go, where did that come from? Innovation, partnerships should be the norm. We started up in 2013, a brand new school. The Innovation Program has been very supportive of what we've done, which was to integrate coding um, into our cross-curricular program. Also to keep on going with what we were doing with our technologies, so to incorporate that into our current technologies. Reflection was our first point of what are we doing and why are we doing it, and how can we do it better. Hello, thank you for coming in. And once we started looking at that, we could think about were we doing it as well as we could? Um, could we change? Do we need to change? And we started to think about things. What does change look like? And if we were, why are we doing that for students? What do the students get out of changing? Okay, how do we connect it then? I think it's like the fact that there's like a set thing that you can do and like things you need to follow. It's why I like math so much as well, even though I'm bad at it. It's just because there's like one set answer. It's just, it's black or it's white. I just really enjoy it. We always go in with an assumption um, and we need to be very mindful of those assumptions to see if they actually are true. So ethnographic surveys, they actually made us change some of our views of what we were doing so that the model that we were looking at was changed and has become a, a lot stronger. The feedback from other schools around Australia would have chatted to them, simply the fact is because it wasn't reinforced, it wasn't because the students didn't do it often enough, they were forgetting the code and they'll spend more time trying to remember how to code again than doing the math problem. That is probably the biggest challenge and that's the support area I think we need to work on. I've been able to make a lot of, quite a lot of games and I like it because you solve a lot of problems in, in your own creative way. So that's what it looks like when it's on the phone. They're finding this interesting, exciting, it, it is a growing area of the school. I would have never have thought that we'd have this in our school, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool what we've got. Our improvement group, Year 7s, I've got a couple of them really struggle to write, really struggle to read, but somehow managed to pick up coding quite quickly. And we're really getting into it, which was really like awesome to see. The Teachers Can Code program is very good, we've had a workshop. The challenge is actually getting them the confidence to actually do it in their classroom. The idea is they've got a good background, general knowledge of what you can do in coding across the school. They're not doing the coding, but they can say, this is what we can do with the college, this is the tools you can use to do it, but it's up to the student to do the work. See here, it says the off arrow. From the innovation process in PD, we realised, no, you want to go whole school first, because you get people coming in the areas that you didn't think of. So that was really, really important, the idea you had to open it up to everyone in the actual college. It doesn't have an end point, it keeps on changing, it keeps on evolving. And if you keep on reflecting on what you're doing and thinking, can we do it better? Yes. It's an ongoing process. We're always learning. We're always learning new things. And the students teach us a lot of things at the same time. So I think that's probably the nicest part of the journey as we all learn together. To see these students and know that they want to do something that's, that I would have thought was cool when I was a kid, but not willing to, to make a mistake to get there. And they're quite happy to do that. So I think the way that we're teaching is making a difference.